Bowman Field is known for housing some of the loudest fans in professional sports. I think we hit the Richter scale at one point. But for a lot of people with sensory issues, that noise can be difficult to handle, and it's an issue the Seahawks and Lumen Field are tackling right now. Our Terry Holloman shows us how. Amity, I'm here at the newly renovated sensory room at Lumen Field, a place where fans can go if they need to escape the roar of the crowd, the excitement of the game. And I'm here with two people who are instrumental in making this thing happen. Seattle Seahawks general manager John Snyder and his wife Tracy. Thank you guys for joining us here today. A couple of questions. This place has been here for a couple of years, but it's been recently remodeled. Why was it important to have a space like this at Lumen Field? Well, we started it because we have a son, Ben, that is on the autism spectrum and he struggles in the community and, uh, you know, he has a lot of sensory issues and is easily overwhelmed. So we wanted to create a space for people like Ben and, you know, people who struggle with any kind of sensory issues and challenges so they felt welcome to come to our stadium and to enjoy football and other events that we hold here too. So so, you know, those people are really what inspired us right. to create this room. Yeah, the empathy level is huge, right? It's right. very high for, for people that are on the spectrum or have sensory issues. You know, if you don't experience those, you really don't know. So your empathy has to be extremely high. Ben would be in the closet at games, right? Um, so, and then we'd be watching games at the house and it was very stressful for him as well, right? So uh, I probably didn't help with that either, but uh, <laughs> no, but um, yeah. So Tracy and Karen putting this together is really neat. As you said, this place has been here for a couple of years, but it's been renamed after Ben. Um, tell me a little bit more about Ben. We heard he goes into the closet when it comes to <laughs> excitement games like this. Tell us about Ben. So Ben is now 20, and he was diagnosed when he was three. And you know the journey was hard, as it is for all families that have autism in their immediate families. And he is was the hardest working kid that I've ever met. He had tons of therapies growing up to try to just help him be everything that he could be. And now we are so proud of him. He graduated high school during the pandemic and tried to figure out what those next steps were for him. And now I started a business with Ben last year and now he's an artist and he has his own company that I help him with. And it's just really amazing to know everything that we have gone through and that Ben has gone through and learned over his life to see him at this point now. Yeah. He does have some artwork in this room right now. What's, what is some of Ben's stuff in here? So this is a piece that Ben did specifically for the sensory room. He obviously picked the colors on purpose. <laughs> His art really gives him a space to express himself and he used art a lot growing up as that calming place, as that kind of escape. We've always had him in some kind of an art class, whether it was through school or through the community to really assist not only helping him find that calming space, but also we used it during his therapies as well. Art has meant a lot to him over the years. So what are some of the other changes that have taken place in this room to really help <laughs> some of the people that need that calming experience during exciting games? You know, the, carpet walls the carpeted huge. walls are awesome yeah. to really kind of help dampen the noise. The color is kind of subdued. And then, you know, the bubble walls, the art that's on the walls that is could be interactive. People can touch it and get that feedback and just to have a place to go. So outside of the room, you've also made sure that the staff here at Lumen Field are trained when it comes to dealing with people who are maybe experience a sensory overload. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so Culture City, who helped revamp the room, and they've come in and, and trained, you know, over 400 people on our staff to really understand what that might look like for someone. How to identify if somebody, you know, has a sensory issue in their group and, and just to kind of add a little bit of grace and understanding for all of our guests so all of them feel welcome and included. And we also have sensory room or sensory kits that people can check out and utilize during the game as well to further help them outside of this room, in the stands and as they're walking around through their concourses and things like that. So it's, you know, we kind of wanted to wrap around that whole that whole game day experience and that you know just support them all the way through. 
And Ben's room is located in the Lumenfield Guest Services Center. It is open for all stadium events. Children using the room, though, must be accompanied by an adult.